This is the measurement progress check, page three. So knowledge question number four says calculate the volume and surface area of the following cone. So if I look at the picture of my cone, I notice that it is 16 centimeters across and 120 centimeters um, tall. So that means that 20 centimeters, if you go from the tip down to the bottom through the middle, that's where that 20 centimeters is going to sit. So on a cone, um, the dimensions we use are R for radius, H for height, and S for slant. And to calculate volume, it is pi r squared h divided by 3. And then to calculate surface area, it is uh, 2, sorry, pi r squared plus pi r s. So I'm going to start with the volume. Volume is pi r squared h divided by 3. So pi, and then my radius would be half of 16, which is 8. So it is 8 squared, or 8 times 8. And then times my height, which is 20. And then that is divided by 3. So I'm going to calculate that on my calculator. So pi times 8 times 8 times 20 divided by 3 is 1,000. 340 point, I've got 4, 1, and then the next digit is a 2, so that's going to stay 0 0.41. And that is in centimeters, and it's volume, so it's cubed. And I rounded it, so I'm going to put a dot for my equal sign. For the surface area, the surface area of a cone is pi r s plus pi r squared. So pi, I'm going to use my pi button, r is still um, 8, but s is the slant, and I don't currently know what the slant is. Um, however, the radius, the height, and the slant together make a right angle triangle, which means I can use Pythagorean theorem to calculate what the length of the slant is. So across from my right angle, that is my hypotenuse or side C. And then the other two sides, I'm going to call this one B and this one A. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So H squared, that's 20 squared, plus B, that's 8 squared, equals my slant side squared. 20 times 20 is 400. 8 times 8 is 64. 400 plus 64 is 464. And then I need to square root that. I get 21.54. The next digit's a 0, so it's just going to be 21.54. And that should be centimeters. So I'm going to use 21. 0.54 as my slant, and then I have plus pi r squared, so pi times r, which is 8, and squared means I do times 8 again. Okay, so I'm going to do a little calculating. I'm going to start in the first one. Uh, I'm going to leave the pi for a minute. I'm going to multiply 8 and 21.54. The reason I didn't include the pi is that I don't want to have to deal with all those decimal places. So this is 172. 0.32 still times pi and then 8 times 8 is 64 and then that's times pi so I can collect like terms here they both have a pi so 172.32 plus 64 is 236.32 highs and then now that I'm down to my final answer, I can actually multiply it by pi. And I get 742.421, or just 42 um, centimeters squared. So 742.42 centimeters squared. And I rounded that, so I'm going to put that dot over the equal sign. 
Now, question C5, C means communication. So it says, determine what formulas you would use to calculate the surface area and volume of the following shapes explained. So this one and this one here, we're going to try to isolate what formulas we think we would use if we're calculating the volume um, and then for the surface area and how we think we would change them. So if I take a look at this one here, it does say ignore the legs. This is a triangular prism. So I know that the volume for a triangular prism is base times height times length divided by 2. Now, we're filling up the shape, right? It's not just a part of a triangular prism. It's a whole triangular prism. Um, so that really is the formula that we're going to use. Nothing special. For the surface area, the surface area here um, for this one is A h plus b h plus c h plus b l that's the formula for the surface area now i do notice that this shape has the three rectangular sides intact but the two different um, triangles that it normally has the top triangle is missing now according to the formula sheet the part that is um, responsible for those triangles is the base times length because um, one triangle is base times height divided by 2, but on the formula sheet they use base and length, so it would be base times length divided by 2, and since there are two of them, that's why um, it has just base times length, because there's two of them there. So I have a choice. I could either divide base times length by 2, or I could subtract a base times length divided by 2. So this represents the two triangles. I only want one triangle, so we divided that by 2 to get rid of one of the triangles. So it does say here to explain. So for this one, I am going to say um, that the top triangle is missing. So I divided base times length by 2 to get rid of one of the triangles. Now, for the volume formula, I didn't really change anything, so I'm just going to say um, I did not change the volume formula. Okay. Um, for the second shape, when I take a look at this shape, it looks like it's a cylinder with half of a sphere or a hemisphere on top. Um, so to get the volume for this one, I would have to do the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r squared h, and then half of a cylinder. So the volume, sorry, not a cylinder, a sphere. So the volume for a sphere is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, and then because I only want half of that, I'm also then going to divide it by 2. And then the reasoning that I'm going to give is I'm going to say this shape is a cylinder with half a sphere on top. And then I'm going to say I divided the volume of the sphere by 2 because it is only half. Okay. For the surface area, um, the surface area of a cylinder is um, 2 pi r squared, that's the top and the bottom, 
plus 2 pi r h, which is the lateral area um, or the side. And then the 1 for a um, sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now, when I look at the picture, this is not a whole sphere. It's only half of a sphere. So I need to take the 4 pi r squared and divide that by 2 so that I only get half of that sphere. And then if I think about the cylinder, um, there's definitely the lateral side that I can see. The top of the cylinder would be inside the shape, and that is not part of surface area. Surface area is only the outside. And then the bottom would also be part of the surface area. But because this is on the ground, I actually don't think you can see the bottom. So I would not count that as being part of the surface area. So I really think it's just the lateral surface area. So if I was trying to get rid of just the top circle, I would change that to a 1 pi r squared. But since I'm getting rid of the top and the bottom, I am going to get rid of both the pi r squared. So I'm going to cross out the 2 pi r squared. But I'm going to keep the 2 pi r h. So I'm going to say um, there is only half of a sphere. And the cylinder is missing the top oops, and bottom circles. 